Howdy tabletop RPG fans, thank you for supporting this channel. I'm Wrangle Me Grand Poop of Game Design, and this Reviews Day topic is Business Card RPGs. I've made videos about big splatbook RPGs with 90 plus pages or more of content, RPG zines that fit in a 5.5 by 8.5 page size that you can make from folded printer paper. I've reviewed one page RPGs and pocket mod RPGs where you can make a tiny eight page pamphlet from folding one sheet of paper. There are such things as index card RPGs, not just that they have the content on index cards, but the, the whole of the rules fit on a single index card. And now there are HIO jams for business card RPGs that fit on one or two sides of a single business card. Oz Browning is running the latest HIO Pleasure Not Business Card RPG Jam for March 2021 while I'm making this video. Folks like JP Covert and Nate Dream started talking about it on Twitch and Twitter, and I soon found a wealth of free or cheap RPGs with a ton of innovation and creativity. If you choose to participate or want to promote your own BizCard RPG, please post below. The HIO Jam link is in the description. Many of these games are on HIO, Twitter, or personal blogs. I will post the links to those in the description as well. A business card in the USA is three and a half inches wide by two inches tall, typically two sides. If you need twice the room, there is a folded three and a half inch by four inch format. If you are desperate enough, if you live in a location that has a larger 3.35 inch by 2.17 inch business card size, then I recommend using that. You can see from an example of the kind of standard business cards that I might make to take to a game conference. Dyson provided many dungeon geomorphs back in 2016 for free to put on the back of your own business cards, link below. The Small Gnome and the Small Goblin are from Nate Dream and his Small Business RPG, link below. These first seven business card RPGs focus primarily on the core player-centric RPG experience with little or no space given to the Game Master-related materials. Creature Hunters by Rodrigo Oliveira de Souza is a monster hunting RPG. Four attributes, spend four points, three max. Fight, weapons, mind, and caution. Core mechanic is to roll 1d6 plus attribute. Less than four is a failure. Five or six is a partial success, and seven or more is a success. Three wounds and you are dead. Mini RPG, which I believe has been duplicated now dozens of times in the RPG community, is by Zephyr, aka Lickkitch, and includes setup and meta rules. Four approaches, is what he calls his stats, where you roll 1d6 minus 3 for each. Fierce, flashy, clever, and careful. Core mechanic is to roll 2d6 plus approach. Win is a breakthrough and lose is a setback. Zombie RPG by SR16 puts all the core on one side of a business card with room on the back to add the GM stuff that I hope he does add. Skills are plus two for best skill, minus two for worst skill, and they include combat, cunning, and stealth. Start with one item that might affect their skills. For example, a shotgun might give you a bonus to your attack of plus two. Core mechanic is to roll 2d6 plus skill plus item bonus to exceed six to succeed. If you roll less than three, you gain a stress counter. Any harm adds one stress counter and being bitten by a zombie adds two. At six stress, your character goes mad and dies. Plank RPG by Norton Glover, AKA NG76, is a 2D6 sci-fi RPG. 10 classes, agent, army, belter, marine, merchant, navy, noble, rogue, scholar, and scout. Define your base values and six skills. The six starting skills are based on your class choice, plus one point for player's extra choice. Combat, knowledge, physical, social, space, and technical. Core mechanic is to roll 2d6 
plus your skill higher than the difficulty to succeed. Difficulty 4 plus is easy, 6 plus is average, 8 plus is difficult, and 10 plus is formidable. Start with 2d6 for endurance, 4d6 for lifeblood, and 2d6 times 100 for credits. This adorable business card RPG is called Small Business RPG by Nate Dream of Highland Paranormal Society and is a small game about small people. Play as a gnome or a goblin. Gnomes have teleport, critter speech, cone hat, stick, and a small pet. Goblins have razor teeth, acid vomit, knife plus one, and matches. Gnomes also have a gnomus feature, while goblins will have a goblin feature. Roll 1d3 minus 1 for each attribute. Strong, swift, clever, and luck. Core mechanic is to roll 1d6 plus attribute higher than or equal to 5 to succeed. When hurt in combat or hazards, total the value in wounds. Roll 1d100 plus luck. If you roll under your wound score, you are dead. All weapons do 1d6 wounds on a successful attack. Wander RPG is also by Nate Dream of Highland Paranormal Society and is a classic fantasy RPG. Stats are 4d4, Strength, Dexterity, and Wisdom, with 1d4 for Defense. Core mechanic is to roll 1d20 under a stat value. Advantages or disadvantage, you roll 2d20 and take the best of works, like D&D 5e. Weapons are rated from 1 to 3d4 damage. Enemies are rated easy stats are 9, defense 2, and damage 1d4. Medium stats are 11, defense is 3, and damage is 2d4. And hard stats are 14, defense is 5, and damage is 3d4. Combat is strength for melee, dexterity for ranged Roll damage for success and subtract from the target's defense. At zero defense, you are dead. The back of the card has 1d20 backgrounds, spell casting determination, 1d8 physical features, 2d12 starting stuff, and 1d10 starting weapon, item price ratings, and a 1d10 magic spells list. Neanderthal RPG is again by Nate Treem of Highland Paranormal Society and is a Stone Age survival game. Traits are 2d6, Strength, Dexterity, and Fire with 1d6 for Vim. Modify any 12 trait by minus 2 or 2 trait by plus 2. Core mechanic is to roll 1d12 under trait value. On one turn, a character may move 40 feet and do one action. Attacks auto hit, no roll needed. Items and weapons are based on six inventory slots. More powerful weapons take extra slots. Subtract any damage from the character's Vim first and then strength. When the strength reaches zero, you are dead. Vim is restored after a brief rest and strength after a night's rest by a fire. Wallet Dungeons isn't an RPG, instead it is a dungeon generator for any RPG by Awkward Turtle and Brian Stauffer. Create a dungeon by rolling a handful of D6s and assemble based on the results. Room types include Dead End, Passage, Split, Crossroads, Tower, and Hall. Each type has rules for how many dice it can touch. To determine the final room, 22 choices total the value of all the neighbor dice. They can include quarters, jails, crypts, workshop, kitchen, forge, laboratory, labyrinth, and much more. Rooms can have an extra details based on neighboring rooms. Layouts can be flat or 3D with multiple levels. There is a 1D6 encounter table that includes threat, obstacle, nothing, opportunity, or boon. This and the next slide have two of the best and most complete RPGs with player and GM sections on the front and back of one business card. Rat King RPG by Scott Malthouse aka Trollish Delver Games is inspired by old school British games. Become a gutter punk in a dangerous world scrapping together groats and surviving day to day. Careers can include stable master, coach driver, guard, 
barber, surgeon, plague doctor, jester, or merchant. Core mechanic is to flip a grimy coin. Heads you succeed. If you can use your career to your advantage, and you may reflip one failure once. Start with the career equipment and 10 growths. You have 10 stamina, and if your stamina runs out, you're brown bread. That's British cant for dead. Each day, flip a coin to determine the winds of order or chaos. Heads equals order and tails equals chaos, which determines which side goes first in combat. Damage does one, two, or three stamina depending on light, medium, or heavy weapons. Advance by increasing max stamina by one after each adventure. The back of the card has a wonderful adventure called Ghoul Fog that includes a big bad, the queen of ghouls, a local occultist who works against the players, and stats for two other monsters, Shamblers and Giant Rat. Wallet RPG by Micah Anderson is a two-sided business card OSR RPG with the added title card too. The front of the card is about characters and the back it is a dungeon generator with monsters, traps, and treasure. Stats are 3d6, strength, willpower, dexterity, and luck. Core mechanic is to roll 1d20 under stat value. Combat is strength for melee, dexterity for ranged, and willpower for magic. Roll under your stat, and over the opponent's armor value. Weapons do 1d3, 1d6, 1d6 plus 1, or 2d6 based on small, medium, heavy, or magical weapons. Hit points equals strength, and at zero hit points, make a luck check or die. Advantages or disadvantages, roll 2d20 and take the best or worst, like D&D 5e. Classes are fighters or wizards with different equipment, spells, and healing. Tables for starting equipment and spells. The back of the card has 1d6 monsters, 1d6 room generator, 2d3 traps, 1d20 treasures, and 1d6 set dressing, and 1d6 room stocking, and 1d6 boss monsters. This episode is brought to you by Kaboomkin. The smaller, faster, funnier RPG of cartoon fairy tale post apocalypse mayhem. It's time to blow stuff up. Get it now at www.kaboomkin.com. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hit like, subscribe, or ring the bell, or Booger will get you. If you want to see more videos like this, go to hopspush.com and buy an RPG or t-shirt. Do good, annoy evil, and bye-bye.